Hey y'all. So I was going to do a chatty car ride this morning, but it was raining so hard that I wasn't able to because I was literally driving 27 miles an hour um, to meet my brother for our little job that we're doing. And um, y'all please pardon my appearance. I know I look rough. I'm sorry, but I am doing helping my brother remodel this trailer for my mama. So there's absolutely no use in me getting all fence fied. And so hence the reason I look like I look. So I'm sorry for that. Um, but I did want to catch up with y'all and kind of, it's been a while. It's been so long. I hadn't really done a chatty car ride because I hadn't really went anywhere to do it. And so I thought I've got a, a little ways to go and thought this would be a good time that I can catch up on what's been going on. There's been so much going on. Um, it seems like the past couple of weeks, there's been a lot going on. So I thought I would take this time to fill y'all in. I've got Buster settled in his little bed and Blanky, he's tired. He's worked hard today. But today is Thursday, April the 15th, and um, like I said, I've been, okay, let me, let me rewind. Do y'all remember back in the summer and early fall, we, re, we worked on my mom's rental property, the mobile home, and got it finished. And then we started working on her little, her mobile home that she has over here, what we call the camp. Um, it's over here by, you know, the stream. I'll give you all a little tour of the property. Anyway, well, we were doing that when, while James was out of work, you know, he lost his job due to all the COVID. And I had quit my job for reasons. And so, my mom needed this work done, so we took this on and started doing it. Well, then he got a job and went went to work full time and tried to come up on weekends and work, but it was just honestly between that and then it, the winter time and it was just too much. So my mother and I was talking and I was gonna try to come up and do stuff that I could do to take it off of him. And then I thought about my brother and I was like, why don't we get him to help? So my brother and myself have taken over working on this project and um, my brother does beautiful work. He's very talented as well. And I am loving spending the time with him. We had not spent a lot of time together. It's been years since we've had this amount of time together. And it's just, now if you was to walk up on us, you would think, my goodness, because we hard time each other all the time. But anyway, so that's my job I've been doing. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Donna. Wait a minute. I thought you had another job. Well, technically, you wouldn't be wrong. I had interviewed for an office job at a doctor's office about a month ago, and I ended up getting the job. It was a part-time job. And I went in, and I was training. And the first day was fine. The second day of training, I started having, like, reservations on whether I was going to be able to do this job. The third day, I knew I was not going to be able to do this job. Like, I went home crying, and I was telling James, I can't do this job. There's, I just can't. You know, it's just, I'm never going to get good at this job. I'm never going to excel at this job. And that matters to me. Like, I want to be good at it. I want to excel. And I was like, I'm not going to be the help that they need me to be I, I'm not and I really had a hard time processing it all and I prayed about it and um, talked it over with him and he was like well you know do do what you got to do well after much prayer 
and soul searching. I woke up that next day and I went in early and I talked to the lady that hired me and the lady that was training me and I just told him, I was like, look, I'm not going to be able to do this job. It's just not, um, it's just not something I'm going to be good at. I'm not going to be able to do it. And I said, I am not going to be the asset that your office needs and I'm not going to be the help that you know, the office manager who was training me, I'm not going to be the help that she desperately needs. I was like, I, I just can't. And I said, you know, I've been on the flip side of this and I know that I would have rather somebody come to me, you know, three, four days in versus three or four months in. And they did. They totally appreciated that. Totally respected me for that. You know, they were like, we totally, we understand. And, um, I've worked in a doctor's office before, but it was completely different than anything that I was used to doing or anything that I was going to be able to do. And y'all, I'm not a quitter. I'm really not. And it was really hard for me to do that. But at the same time, I want to be the best at what I do. And I knew I was never going to at this job. So I quit that job. And, you know, I left on very good terms, no burnt bridges. I, I'm a firm believer in not burning bridges because you just never know. I mean, sometimes you have to burn some bridges, you know, sometimes you have to, but when at all possible and you can leave without burning a bridge, you know, I, that's what I try to do. So then I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. So then this this presented itself and I, you know anything I could do to take off of James because he's working full-time the last thing he wants to do is work full-time and then on this you know every weekend and at the rate of just doing it on us you know on Saturdays because we go to church on Sundays it was never gonna it was gonna be probably a year before it was done so it worked out so I'm able to bring Buster with me that's why you know, that's why I posted, I made a post showing him that I was headed to work and somebody had commented they were glad that I could take him to work with me. Well, that's why. <laughs> so, we have a couple other jobs lined up after this job. So, we may get into doing this. Who knows? I don't know. You know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> so, I can't wait. I've been kind of taking some pictures and video, you know, the process along the way and, um, can't wait to show y'all all of that. If I can put it together and make it look good. But that's that. Okay. Then last week, I told y'all a lot. There was a lot. <laughs> last week, um, my daddy got rushed to the hospital. He was having some chest pains and he does have heart issues. And so they took him in and was running some tests. And they ended up keeping him overnight because they said, you know, something in his blood work showing that something's going on. So they ended up doing a heart cast. And then from that, they ended up doing uh, open heart surgery. Totally unexpected. He did have a, a light heart attack. And he was given two options. Like, you can go home, live your best life. You know forever how long that's going to be or you can have open heart surgery and have you know a much longer life so none of us was expecting that and it was just a week you know of just crazy emotions but he is doing wonderful y'all he is amazing he is a walking miracle the doctors are even amazed um, he had he had the procedure, the open heart surgery done on Thursday, and Mama brought him home on Monday. Yes, and he is doing so good. In fact, I just left him. I gave him a haircut, got him all cleaned up, and he's doing so good. And you know, that's all due to God. That is all due to God and prayers. And I told, I was sitting there talking to him and telling him, I said, you've had so many people from all over the United States praying for you. <laughs> I said, and just know that God did 
this. And we know, we know, he knows. But he is doing so good. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. My mom is doing good. So, yeah, it's just been, it's been crazy, y'all. And then, um, I just, there's been other issues, not issues, I shouldn't say issues, but, you know, there's just other parts of life, you know, and it's just, it, it's, I don't know if y'all feel like I do, but it feels like sometimes, you know, it just comes all at one time, and it's like, oh my goodness, how am I going to process all this? I, had, I need to breathe, and, but, yeah, so that's what's been going on. Oh, I got a new grand pup. My daughter got a pug, Mr. Benson. He is precious. I don't know if y'all have seen him on Instagram, but I posted a picture of my new grand pup. So, she's been, <laughs> I've been hearing from her with the woes of potty training, but, <laughs> like, this is life, hun. <laughs> it's been funny. But that's what's been going on with me, y'all. It's just been crazy. It's been busy. And I was so glad that I actually had a few videos, like, pre-filmed. Which, my latest video was how I waxed my eyebrows. And I get it. I get it. That is not a video for everybody. But I'd had people ask me about my eyebrows and different things. And, you know, I had the time at that when I filmed it I was gonna do it so I just did it and um, posted it but thank y'all for the sweet comments on it thank you for your support of my channel y'all just don't understand how much that means to me um, I just I'm so grateful to YouTube for the ones that it has brought into my life and the relationships I've formed and I'm just I'm so blessed y'all are just amazing and y'all I just thank y'all so much I'm not gonna lie I do get discouraged sometimes about YouTube um, YouTube is one of those things that it it can kind of it, it can kind of like with you a little bit you know because like I told y'all I want to do good at what I do like I want to excel and um, you know YouTube is hard YouTube is hard to like get on up there and, and to get you know the subscribers and all that and I literally really I honestly had to make a conscious decision and I had to talk to myself and I had to tell myself you know what Donna it's not about the subscriber count it's not about the money because Lord knows you ain't making none <laughs> you know you do it because you love it and you do it because of the people that he has brought into your life because I have made some amazing friends and that would not have been possible without YouTube. So I just had to have a little talk with myself and just um, let myself know, look, either you're gonna do it because you, you just wanna do it, bottom line, because you're never gonna get rich. <laughs> you know, and if that's why you're in it, then you just need to stop it now. And I just, I love it so much, so. Let me think. Is there anything else? I really, really have been trying to figure out what I can do. I want to do something. Like a little giveaway or something on my channel. Because I haven't done that since Sarah and I did that little giveaway. And I don't want to be there. I don't want there to be any strings attached as far as follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, blah, blah, blah. I literally want it to be, just be subscribed to my channel, comment down below. That's it. So I'm trying to figure out something I can give away um, 
to let y'all know just how much y'all mean to me and how much I, you know, I really truly appreciate y'all because at the end of the day, you know, I, I love y'all. <laughs> I really do. And I know that sounds cheesy and I know some people are just going to say that's just lip service and all this and that. And I, I, I get it. I understand. I used to be the same way when I would hear different YouTubers say that. I would think, really, you're just saying that. But now that I have my own channel, and like I said, you know, I feel like I know y'all, and y'all know me, and we're just like this family. I, I do. I love y'all so much, and I look forward to chatting with y'all and getting to know y'all, and you know, I, I just love it, and I love y'all, and I'm just really trying to come up with something that I can do, some little giveaway. So I'm working on that. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be happen happening soon. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. And y'all, if y'all have any ideas or suggestions, and hey, drop it down in the comment section. Let me know. Let's figure something out. But I just, I appreciate y'all so much. So I just wanted to put that out there so y'all can kind of be on the lookout for that. But that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to bore you. And I haven't really been doing any recent vlogging because I just don't feel like there's really been anything vlog worthy. <laughs> um, but oh, let me tell y'all, I have, y'all. Fell in love with my jigsaw. <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me right. My jigsaw. I have been reunited with my jigsaw and started doing some things with it. And now I've been making, um, y'all remember the cross that's on my front door that I put up for my screen refresh porch? That beautiful cross. Well, my daughter wanted something for her front door and I was like, well, I'll make you a cross like mine. So I took it down and traced it out. And James went out there and gave me a refresher course on the jigsaw. And I have been making those crosses. I made her a beautiful one. Um, and then I made two other ones. And I also made, um, a cutout of the state of Mississippi. Made two of those and painted them. And I'm just thinking now, like, my mind's just like, what can I cut out now, you know? And I'm, I'm thinking about, like, making up some and doing them different paint techniques and different things. And then going and setting up and selling, trying to sell them. Kind of like what I'm thinking of. You know, it's just a way to make some extra money. This bra strap's about to drive me crazy. Um, so, yeah, I have just... And then I'm thinking of all these different things I can make. Like, I want to make some little cutouts. Like, my mind's just go when I'm thinking of 4th of July things. And I'm thinking of, like, I want to do, like, some little cutouts of the state of Mississippi. And do, like, Christmas ornaments. And just all kinds of things. My mind just like all over the place. And then I posted a picture on Instagram the other night of a little tray I made for my kitchen. And uh, it was just literally out of scrap wood. And I bought some little uh, feet from Lowe's. And I'm thinking about making some of those. And just like all over the place <laughs> what I want to make so I'm so excited that I've been reunited and had a fresh refresher course with the jigsaw and now my mind is just steadily going like steadily working like what am I gonna make what am I gonna make what am I gonna make but I love it I'm trying to get more like I'm not 
scared of power tools. Like, they don't scare me as far as, like, I'm used to being around them, but I'm trying to get more comfortable using them. Does that make sense? Like, the miter saw and different things, I'm trying to get more comfortable and working on that. So, tell y'all something that happened last week 
not only was it the day that my daddy was having surgery, but my daughter had a doctor's appointment. And so I went with her. It was a new doctor. She was changing doctors because her old doctor, number one, he just got to where you couldn't reach them. They wouldn't call you back. And then when you would go, like, they wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't even try. And so, it really just benefited her to change doctors because it's closer to where she lives. And, you know, with all the other stuff going on, it just was the perfect time. I knew this doctor's name because when I worked at the other doctor's office, I used to send referrals to his office. And I knew that my doctors that I worked with referred to this doctor a lot so you know I knew that if they believed in him then I trusted that right I even confirmed it with um, my absolute favorite doctor that I worked with and my friend Katie who is her nurse I even went through them I was like would Dr. H recommend this doctor and she's like absolutely and I was like, okay, I, I felt that. I just wanted to confirm that. Okay. So, we go to this doctor. Now, this is his first time seeing my daughter and myself. And I went with her because sometimes, even though I know she's a grown woman, sometimes she won't let them know everything, you know? So, I went with her. And, um... I began to, well, you know, she was talking to him and letting him know what's going on, blah, 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 blah. And here's the problem. Here's where I messed up. Well, I don't know that I messed up. I just don't think the situation was handled correctly. But anyway, so I told him, I said, look, I said, I was watching Mystery Diagnosis and this woman was my daughter like every symptom that she had had I not been watching and only heard it would literally be like oh my gosh that's my daughter you know and I was like and she was diagnosed with X I said is I was not telling the doctor that's what my daughter's issue was I was trying to explain to him this is the mirror image of her this is her symptoms could this be a possibility y'all as soon as I told him that the, you know ask him about that I didn't tell him I asked him he immediately turned me off <laughs> done He's like, what is it called? Real like, ugh. anyway. And I told him, and I spelt it for him. He was like, no. And he Googled it, and it popped right up. He's like, mm-mm. I assure you, nobody has heard of this. Nobody, this is just somebody who's made this up. Okay, I don't care. This is her symptoms, okay? And, um, he, like, did not hear anything I said. He just immediately jumped on, this is a crazy woman. And I told him, I said, you think I'm crazy? I know you do. I point blank told him. I said, I'm not crazy. I'm telling you, this is her symptoms. He immediately went, jumped to... He had attitude. He completely discredited anything I said. And from that point on, he turned it on me that I was telling him to operate on her. And I told him, I said, I'm not telling you that she needs surgery. I said, this woman's issue was treated with medication. Nobody did surgery. 
I was totally disgusted at this doctor. Okay? Totally disgusted. And I just, I don't understand. First of all, you know, you don't know my child. This is your first time meeting her. So wouldn't you want every bit of the information that you could have to come to a proper diagnosis? I would think so. Um, I didn't go in there saying, this is what she has, this is what she needs, do this. And how many times have people been misdiagnosed, not taken seriously, and the doctor play God, and then, you know, come to find out, had they listened to the patient, there might have been, you know, something to it. Now, I'm not saying that everything or every time it works out that way, but in today's society, in today's world, you have to look out for you on certain things like that. And doctors are not gods. They do not know all. And they need to understand that. They need to realize that. And I was so disgusted at this doctor and how he treated me after the fact, you know, after I brought it up. And, I, you know, I was telling, I was telling I think I was telling my brother about it because he was asking how our appointment went. And he said, you should have never, you should have said, we have a friend who has a friend. You know, don't ever tell him you've seen it on TV or, you know, you, you researched it on Google. Why? Why? First of all, I wasn't telling him that was her prop. That was her, that was what she was wrong with her. I was just saying, this is her symptoms. You know, take this information that I'm giving you, take the information you have from her other doctor and records, compare them and see, is there a possibility that, hey, there might be something to it? You know, that's all I was saying. Anyway, I was just totally disgusted. And I told her when we left there, I said, I don't like him. I said, you know, it is your choice whether you choose to use him or not. I mean, he change some of her medications and you know he was like we'll know in two weeks if this is going to work if it's not then you're going to have to do blah 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 I said it is totally your right and your choice if you continue to use him I said but I am I don't like him and I won't recommend him and he did not set a very good first impression even if he felt that I was crazy and ridiculous, there were ways to handle it and he should have handled it better. Uh, and, you know, anyway, that's that. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one again that this has happened to, but it is so hard to find a doctor that will, in my experience, that will listen to you, understand you, and take the time to get to know you. I have one doctor that's like that, and I love him to bits and pieces, and I told him I do not know what I'm going to do if he ever retires, and that is my OBGYN. I love him. I've been going to him for years, probably since, I don't even know. It's been a long time. <laughs> 1999, 2000, anyway, and I can go and sit down in his office and talk to him, and he understands me, and he don't think I'm crazy, and he listens to me, and I don't know what I'm ever going to do if some, when that man retires, and he's probably going to retire soon, but anyway, it's just, I don't know. I don't understand these doctors and their God mentality. They're not God. And the day that they realize that and humble themselves and pray for wisdom, 
they might see a difference. Okay, right over. <laughs> and this is why I've been stuck for like two hours. I don't know what's going on. Something's overturned. 